Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson and today I'm reviewing a film that was recommended to me in the comments section last video. This is The Warriors. This was recommended to me by friend of the show Stuart Bullock who runs the Toy Review UK YouTube channel. He said it's actually one of his favourite films of all time. It's essentially a movie about gangs of New York and their turf war and one pivotal event that happens in a single night where basically someone is, well this is minor spoilers, but someone is assassinated or killed, shot. I wouldn't call it assassinated actually, I would call it, call it killed and shot. And the warriors are framed for the killing. And so it's uh, going to sound really weird, but I kind of got Poseidon vibes from it because it's the story of a dangerous journey. In this instance, one end of New York to another. And during the journey, they come up against various different villains slash combatants slash obstacles, be that the police or rival gangs or undercover honey police trap rapist capture people. I really liked the concept of it. It reminded me of a lot of a video game, like it basically is a video game, moving from, from one threat to another. And I just thought it was a very fun film. It's got a very funky soundtrack and the way that it's shot is very cool. This version, the director's edition or something, had a foreword by the director where he said that a lot of its roots lie in Greek mythology and comic books. The comic book kind of essence of it is apparent because it has some scenes where it covers her over in comic art and then actually has comic book board movement as well. So as a massive comic book fan, I appreciated that. And it just generally felt very comic booky, very dynamically shot, and it's just very... The character designs are very strong, and they all... All the different groups are very unified, like there's a baseball bat wielding group, and there's, um, there's like a group of rag tags called the Orphans, and yeah, just the way that the story unfolds, I just really enjoyed. It was uh, quite easy viewing, I felt. As I say, it had a very funky soundtrack, which I think was cool. And the choreography or the fight scenes are pretty good. Nothing mind-blowing, but it's very street brawler-ish and just quite entertaining. The characters, that aren't, they aren't super deep, but there's individual personalities in there. And um, just... Yeah, their inter interactions with each other are pretty good. There's some infighting, like, oh, who made you the leader kind of thing that feels a little bit cliche now. Don't know what it was like at the time, but it's just, it's just fun. It's good fun stuff. Their attitude towards rape is pretty liberal, which was a bit odd slash awkward. Um, I guess that is just the gangs of New York. So really, these people aren't good guys because they, they were, they, they did seem fairly happy to rape people which is a bit bad, like, very bad, um, and obviously they're fighting the whole time, but it's fine, it's ob obviously they're the bad guys, or not bad guys, we root for them, but we, we know they're a villain, almost a bit like Breaking Bad, I suppose. Acting-wise, it was a little bit hammy in places, but it's, uh, it's fine, it did feel of its time. A lot of people said it's actually dated, I'm not sure if I would say it was dated. Um, it's, it's, as I say, it's very of its time, but I didn't find it difficult to watch at all. I did watch the Blu-ray version, and the, the, the amazing thing about Blu-rays is that we get to watch all these old films, but they are just absolutely crystal clear. Um, so, visually it looked really good, I really liked it, and I, I like the actual logo of the film. I know that's saying very little. But if a film has a nice logo, like the very iconic Warriors logo, title, um, I don't know, it just does something for me. It's obviously very iconic. I can definitely see why Stuart loves it. It's a very fun film. I think perhaps the fact that I'm coming into it 40, well, 35 years late might dampen the experience a little. But I still thoroughly enjoyed it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching Movie Review UK. If you've got some suggestions or recommendations for me, let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more videos.